will read you out of their bondage and I will redeem you. Praise the Lord. You. You. He says, I will redeem you with a stretch out arm and with great judgments. Look at verse 7 there. It says, and I will take you to me for a people. You become the people of God. Children of God. I said that's what you are going to be tonight. I am a child of God. An evil power will not be able to touch you anymore. And you shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the bodies of the Egyptians. All bodies in your life, they are taken away tonight. And then in verse 8, it tells us, And I will bring you in. It brings you out, out of your problem, and it brings you in to his presence. It brings you out of your sin. It brings you into salvation. It brings you out of evil. And it brings you into the goodness of God. It, it brings you out of everything that has been pursuing your life. And now it brings you to the land of promise tonight. And then it says, I will bring you into the land concerning the which I did swear to give you to Abraham and to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you for an inheritance. Amen. You have an inheritance tonight. Amen. I said you have an inheritance tonight. Amen. And then he says, I am the Lord. He has introduced himself. I am the Lord, the creator. I am the Lord, your redeemer. I am the Lord, your savior. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, and whatever it is you need tonight, you'll find the Lord is present there. Amen. Present with power. Present with authority. He will do wonders in your life. Amen. Look at Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21. I'll just read it out to you if you don't have your Bible there. It says, I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. Amen. The wicked that think they will rough handle your life. They will destroy your life. They will blindfold you. You'll not be able to see the future. Tonight, your deliverance has come. Yeah. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked. I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Yeah. Mr. Terrible will not have power over your life anymore. Yeah. Madam Terrible will not have power over your life anymore. I can just see the Lord by your side there saying, pay attention, tonight I come to deliver you. Tonight I come to rescue you. Tonight I come to redeem you. Praise the Lord. All those tears are wiped away in Jesus' name. Look at chapter 31, Jeremiah 31, verse 11. Look at this. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. What's your name? Put your name there. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Don't worry anymore. All the powers that are bigger, higher, stronger than yourself, tonight you are delivered. As I said, we're talking about full redemption and free redemption through faith in Christ. I'm going to, you know, divide the message to three parts. One part now, another part, and then another part, and then at the final part, you got it. Amen. Today, today. Amen. Tonight, tonight. Amen. Full redemption. Amen. Free redemption. Amen. Total redemption. Amen. Number one, the author and the finisher of our priceless redemption. The author, the originator, the creator, the one that actually springs it up, the author and the finisher of our priceless redemption. Number two, the assurance, as we see down there, or maybe you are standing up there, 
have the assurance and settled mind tonight your deliverance is tonight there is no go and come anywhere you are online just pay attention now and stop every other thing and give yourself to this there is assurance tonight the assurance and the foundation of our promised redemption assurance somebody say assurance there's assurance coming from heaven upon your life tonight that you are going to be redeemed. Number three, the acceptance. Now it's available. The Lord has made it available. Now at the time, at the right time, you will now accept. You'll say, yes, Lord, I believe. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Yes, I believe you are the author, you are the finisher, you are the provider, and you have given me assurance. Already I have a solid foundation for the promised redemption. Now I accept. The moment you accept, it is done. Amen. Salvation, done. Amen. Healing, done. Amen. Deliverance, done. Amen. Miracle, Amen. done in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. The acceptance and fulfillment of our precious redemption. Let's look at number one there. Number one, we're looking at the author and the finisher of our priceless redemption. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, you need healing. Looking unto Jesus, you need salvation. Looking unto Jesus, you need redemption, looking unto Jesus, and you need provision so that he wipe poverty out of your life. Looking unto Jesus, you need power to live a life, a life that is strong, a life that is achieving. Looking unto Jesus, as you look to Jesus tonight, there is no disappointment. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The faith that gets salvation is the author. The faith that gets healing is the author. The faith that gets redemption is the author. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down. And is set down now. If you've gone to the farm, Early in the morning, and you do everything you intended to do, all the weeds are taken off, all the crops are harvested, and you bring them into the barn, now you can sit down. Because you finished. Jesus Christ on the cross said, it is finished. He looked at you, and he said, your problems finished. Your sin finished. Your perdition finished. The Lord finished. All the attacks and affliction finished. Blindness finished. Sickness finished. After he finished everything, he now sat down. He said, Now you can take everything that belongs to you. He is now set down at the right hand of the throne of God. It's done. Amen. Look at John chapter 19, verse 30. Then Jesus, therefore, when he had received the vinegar, he said, he said, it is finished. Bad luck, finished. Amen. Evil, finished. Amen. Demonic attack, affliction, finished. Amen. All the harassment of the enemy finished in your life. Amen. That's redemption. That's redemption. When he finishes all the problem of sin, redemption. When he takes all your sicknesses away, that's redemption. And when he takes all the things, the devil has been putting before you, and he said, you will not cross over. You will not live a happy life. You will not live a righteous life. And he torments your life. And when Jesus said, now enough is enough. 
In your life, enough is enough. No more crying. No more rolling on the ground. No more going here and there. No more suffering. Enough is enough. It is finished. I praise God for you tonight. It is finished. Your heart attack, it's finished. That incurable disease, it is finished. There's priceless redemption for everyone, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Surely, there's no doubt tonight. Any doubt out there tonight? I said any doubt out there tonight? Surely, he has borne our griefs. Our griefs for everyone. Now we're going to make it personal. He has borne my griefs. Why don't you say that? Your sorrow, say that. And all the heavy load, all the crying, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He came so that in your life, all that thing that causes sorrow, he'll carry everything away. Yeah. Failure, he'll carry everything away. Yeah. Weeping, he'll carry everything away. Yeah. Suffering, he'll carry everything away. Yeah. Falling under the boot of the devil, marching over your head and marching over your life. Tonight, he comes to carry everything away. Yeah. It's going to set you free. I said it's going to set you free. We did esteem him smitten, stricken of God and afflicted. The smiting, the striking, the weeping that shall come upon you. He put Christ on your page. And he puts you on the page of Christ. The good thing that he had is transferred to you. The bad thing that you have is transferred unto him. And then uh, the good life, the happy life, the righteous life, the right life, and the progressive life that Christ would normally live, all that is transferred to you. Yeah. It comes with the redemption. And as we say tonight, Lord, I believe you did it for me. It will happen. Yeah. Look at verse 5. It says in verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgression. Make it personal. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Look at this, look at this. And with his stripes, with his stripes, with his stripes, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have read the story before, before they took him to the cross to die, they tied him to a pole and they witched him. And all those stripes, they are made for you. Amen. To take away cancer from you. Amen. To take away blindness from you. Amen. To take away deafness from you. Amen. To take away paralysis from you. Tonight is that night. By with his stripes, we are healed. On my left hand side there, healing coming your way. In front of me there, healing coming your way. On my right hand side there, healing coming your way. Online, everywhere you are, healing is coming your way now in Jesus' name. Well, just you remember last month, February, we had the crusade in where? Good history students, you know the history. We had the crusade in Taraba. Many things happen. Blind eyes opened. Dead, dead people, those who are dead, they were healed 
and they counted one, two, three, even to ten, and great, great things happened. But now, this is a testimony that happened this last February in Taraba, Taraba State. This woman was born lame. She had never taken a step in her life. And now she is 35 years of age. And as we prayed and we mentioned the name of Jesus, think of a woman that had never taken a step in 35 years of her life. The power of God came upon her. She rose up from that paralysis and then she began to walk began to walk that same power is here tonight that same power will take all your sicknesses away in jesus name power somebody shout power that power struck her she got up and then remember 35 years she had never taken a step and then the Lord did it. If the Lord did that for her, what cannot the Lord do for you tonight? Your blind eyes, it will open. Your paralyzed legs will receive strength. Your heart, they say it's a lad, everything will become normal. The bleeding, everything will stop tonight in Jesus' name. And of course, of course, of course, all your sins, every bad thing you have ever done since you were born, everything will be taken away from you and laid on Christ tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, it says, All we like sheep have gone astray. All, all, all we like sheep have gone astray. You are not the only one. Everybody around you, everybody around us, everyone went astray. But God loves you all the same. He doesn't love the bad things you've done, but he loves you. He doesn't love your sin or sinning, but he loves you. That's why he says, I love you and I will not allow sin to destroy you. It will take your sin away. Yeah. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone, everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him, on Christ. Praise the Lord. All that load and habit of sin, he takes away from you. And he puts it on Christ. And then he says, he laid it on him, the iniquity of us all. Look at that sentence, the first word, all. The last word, all. There is no exemption. It's for everyone. All at the beginning, all at the end. The Lord has come to bless you. He has come to forgive you. He has come to set you free. Redemption. 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 Where? I said where? Where will it come tonight? Praise the Lord, redemption is coming to you. Isaiah chapter 45, reading from verse 22. It says, look unto me. It says, don't doubt. Don't allow all the bad, bad things you've done make you to, you know, slack back and say, I'm too bad. You're not too bad. No matter how bad you are, and no matter how good you think you are, Redemption has come to you tonight. Look unto me and be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. At the Alpha location here by El Sartid, it will touch everyone. In all the regions of the localities, all the communities of our country, Nigeria, it will touch everyone. And of all the places in Africa, in Asia, in America, in Canada, everywhere in Europe and in Russia, everywhere is coming to everyone right now. Look unto me, all look unto me and be ye saved. Look unto me and be ye healed. Look unto me and be ye delivered. Look unto me and be ye blessed. All the ends of the earth. 
For I am God and there is none else. What others cannot do. He says, I am the Lord, he will do it. The redemption others cannot give. He says, I am the Lord, he'll give it to you tonight. Congratulations, your day of redemption has now come. Look at number two here. Number two is the assurance and foundation of a promised redemption. Redemption that is promised. The Lord promised the redemption. And he says, now, as you look at the foundation and you step on that foundation, tonight, redemption for you. Yeah. Assurance. There's no doubt in my heart that tonight you are the one that God has ordained redemption for. Yeah. I said you are the one. Yeah. I am the one. The Lord has promised redemption for me. It's done in Jesus' name. L look at something in Hebrews chapter 6. And I'm reading from verse 18. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18. That by two immutable things. In the which it was impossible for God to lie. We might have strong a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold on the hope that is set before us the promise of redemption he has given us is so sure because god is greater than angels god is greater than the best of men on earth our god cannot lie what he said he will do for you tonight He'll do it for you. What he said he will give you tonight, he'll give it to you. Everyone, everyone. And he says it's impossible for God to lie. Every promise of God will be fulfilled in your life. Every promise of God will be fulfilled in my life. Amen. Amen. Look at verse 19. In verse 19 it says, Which hope we have. As an anchor of the soul. Which hope we have. We have the hope. And it's an anchor of the soul. Both sure and steadfast. Sure and steadfast. Your redemption. Sure and steadfast. Your salvation. Sure and steadfast. And your desires. Answers to your prayer tonight. Sure and steadfast. You are going back home. With joy in your heart. And which entereth into that which is within the veil. Then in verse 20, it tells us, Whether the forerunner is for us, the forerunner is for us, the forerunner is for me entered. Even Jesus, when he said it is finished, then he went to heaven, to the presence of God, and then he mentioned your name. He said, for that man, I finished it. For that woman, I finished all the sorrows. And then he stands before the heavenly father to make sure that what he has purchased for you comes to you directly. You will not miss it. He said, he's made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And then now we come to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, looking at verse 9, it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. The foundation of God standeth sure. The foundation of your redemption from the hand of God stands very sure tonight. Yeah. Having they seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. The Lord knows me. The Lord knows me. I belong to him. I don't belong to Satan. And you know what Satan has done? He came to steal you, to destroy you, and to kill you. But that Satan, 
that stole you away tonight, the Lord will break his hand away from your life. Yeah. Then you come to the Lord and say, Lord, this is my name. I'm sorry, I went astray, I went far, but now I come back home. And the Lord will receive you with joy. And the Lord will take all your guilt, all your condemnation, he'll take everything away. And the angels will sing tonight because of you. He has come back home. She has come back home. And there will be celebration in heaven for you tonight in Jesus' name. The Lord knows them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Amen. You see, the devil introduces all those things to destroy our lives, and we didn't know eating up, eating up our lives. And you know, the more you go, it's like you know when uh, we set a trap for a rabbit, and then we put something in uh, that the rabbit likes pleasure to the rabbit. We put it on that trap. And the rabbi does not see the trap. The rabbi only sees what you put there, the bait. And he's thinking that uh, what kind of uh, person is this that puts all this there? And he puts uh, even the food, the bait, he puts it very well where he can easily see it. He says, uh, thank you very much. I'll be hungry, and now he comes there, and then as he tries to take uh, that thing in life, bam, the trap catches him, catches her. That's what the devil is trying to do. You think the devil likes you, and then he gives that, that thing. So you will enjoy this one. You will appreciate this one. This one, you'll be very, very happy, and then you'll say, thank you very much, the devil is not kind. He knows what he's doing. Uh, he's setting a trap for you. That trap, the Lord will destroy it tonight. Yeah. And all those things the devil has put there, thinking that you will nibble on this, you will take this one, and he thinks it will catch you, it will never catch me again. Yeah. He will never catch me again. Yeah. Say it for yourself. He will never catch me again. That's what the Lord is saying. Depart from that iniquity. And as you do that tonight, the promised redemption will come to you. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. It will come. Yeah. Set tonight. Yeah. Forgiving tonight. Yeah. Set free tonight. Yeah. Healed tonight. Yeah. Delivered tonight. I praise the Lord for you. Tonight is your night of redemption. We come to number three now. Number three, the acceptance and fulfillment of our precious redemption. Acceptance, acceptance. That you say, yes, Lord, I know this is the day of my salvation. And this is the day of my healing. This is the day of my total redemption. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. And I'm reading from verse 2. It says, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. He knows your desire. He knows the thought of your heart. He knows that you want to come back to real life. And the Lord said, I've heard your desires. I've seen your thoughts. And tonight, as you come out of your darkness and you come to the light of Christ, the Lord is waiting for you. He will receive you. Amen. I have heard thee. In a time accepted, in the day of salvation, have I succored thee? Behold, now is the accepted time. When is your redemption? Now, now is the accepted time. When is your salvation? Now. 
now. Now is the accepted time. And when is your healing? Now. Now is your healing. And if there's anything in your life that is dead, completely dead, when will life come to you? Now. Or having uh, that great miracle explosion crusade in Lagos. And there was a woman pregnant, but the baby inside had died. And she went to the hospital, and the doctors, they tried to hear the beating of the heart dead. And all they could do was to try to evacuate that fetus, the unborn baby. And then a miracle explosion prayer was going on, like it's going to go on tonight upon you. And then we said, in Jesus name that in Jesus name that dead child inside woke up that's the that's the by start clapping and life came to that dead unborn baby and the doctors they were surprised they said the child is now alive it happened to them out there. It's now your turn. Where are you? I said it's now your turn. Where are you? I said it's now your turn. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation for you. I said for you. How does that happen? Very simple. That redemption are means receive the propitiation. The propitiation is what Christ has done to cover your sin, to cleanse your sin, and to take away all your transgression. Receive that. Say, yes, Lord, I know it's for me. He embraced the prince. Is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Embrace him. Accept him. And say Christ is mine. Because Christ is mine. Salvation is mine. Because Christ is mine. Healing is mine. He embrace the prince. D. Demand his pardon. Demand his pardon. You come to the Lord. And you say Lord. I am the one the preacher was talking about. I am the one that needs pardon, forgiveness, salvation. I want all my condemnation to be taken away, and tonight it will happen. He experience is purging. Experience is purging. Tonight it will take the brush of heaven. I'll brush every, every dirty thing out of your life. Yeah. You will not feel any pain at all. He will do it miraculously. And all the dirty, dirty, defiling things tonight, the Lord says, I've been waiting for you. Like you couldn't wash yourself when you are a baby. And mommy will have to uh, you know, scrape up all those things and wash you, all the wounds and everything. Mommy will wash everything up. Heaven will wash away your sin tonight. Experience is purging. Emma, maintain his purpose. The purpose Christ came to this world for this purpose that he might destroy the works of the devil. I'm smiling for you. All the works of the devil, the purpose of the Lord is to destroy everything out of your life. Yeah. Wonderful night for you. Yeah. Blessed night for you. Yeah. And now you maintain, you say, the reason I come is for the purpose that all the works of the devil will be destroyed out of my life. It's done. Yeah. P, personalized is promises. 
personalize that very redemption. It says, I will redeem thee, personalize that. He's talking about me. I will save you out of the hand of the terrible. Personalize that that is for you. And I will redeem you from the hand of the one that is stronger than you are. Cancer is stronger than you are, but the Lord said, tonight he will deliver you from that cancer. Personalize his promises, and then chief there is take your portion. Take your portion. You see the ocean there, deep and wide, and there's water there to satisfy everybody. Take your portion. Take your portion. It's no discrimination about, you know, the water. And then you can even say, make a pipe and get that water into your house. The water of life will come to you today. You will personalize the promises and you will take your portion. Your portion of salvation, take it. Your portion of healing, take it. Your portion of deliverance, take it. And then I inherit his peace. There's no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. But now you come out of wickedness and you're going to inherit his peace. There'll be peace in your heart. There'll be peace in your soul. There'll be peace between you and your wife, between your wife and yourself, and between your husband and yourself. There'll be peace in your family. There'll be peace all the way through. And all the things that torment your heart and that will make you to run away from the path of progress, all those things that are disturbing your peace, everything it will take away. You inherit its peace. Now, oh, there is to open Open up to his presence. Open up to his presence. He says, I'm here. I stand at your door. And I'm knocking at your door. If anyone opens the heart, he hears my voice, and he opens the heart, I will come in. You will take Jesus, the healer, back home tonight. You take Jesus, the savior, back home tonight. And then... And there is never doubt his power. Never doubt his power. He has power to raise the dead. Your problem is not as serious as that. He has power to make broken bones. Maybe your problem is not as serious as that. Never doubt his power. That power is coming to you now. Amen. Where are you? I said, where are you? Let heaven see your hand. Where are you? Let Jesus himself, who comes in now to save you, to redeem you, to set you free, let him see you there. Tonight is your night of redemption in Jesus' name. God bless you. I know you are standing up. It says stand up, stand up for Jesus, soldiers of the cross. I thank God for you. But let's see now for a moment now. Now. This is the time, the time of your redemption, the time of your freedom, the time of your salvation, and the time of your healing. But we're going to do each one after the other. Forgiveness is coming to you now. Salvation is coming to you now. All your sins, all your transgressions, all your iniquities are laid on Jesus. And if you say, I accept that, that is mine. Wherever you are, it's bowed and eyes closed. Just raise up your hand and say, yes, Lord, I am here. Redemption, I want it. Salvation, I want it. And I want forgiveness for all my sins, all my condemnation, all my guilt. I want everything to be taken away. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You're listening over the radio. Just raise up your hand there. Over the television, raise up your hand. Online, anywhere you are. Redemption, salvation, forgiveness, freedom from sin. By the power of the Lord is coming to you now. Anywhere you are, just raise up your hand. If you're raising up your hand, and please stand up now. You're raising up your hand. You're saying uh, that redemption is mine. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Everyone sees you right there now. And Jesus is smiling at you right now. He says it is finished. It will finish all condemnation. It will finish all the guilt in your life. You're raising up your hand. Stand up now and say, yes, Lord, I want that redemption. Yes, Lord, I want that salvation. Yes, Lord, I want your 
pardon. And I embrace that now. I accept that now. And I want the blood of Jesus to, to, to so wash me and cleanse me that all the guilt will be taken away. As we are standing up, just tell the Lord, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And Lord, I receive it now, that redemption that you purchased, that redemption that you provided, that redemption that you promised, that redemption that is precious, I receive that now. As we are standing up, I'm going to pray with you. Raise up that hand again while you are standing up. Father, in the name of Jesus, what a loving God you are. What a wonderful God you are. You search we should look unto you all the ends of the earth and then you say we shall be saved we shall be forgiven i pray for every brother every sister every young man every young woman and even the older people i pray for everyone according to your promise grant them redemption for their souls now in jesus name forgive all their sins take away the guilt Take away the condemnation and give them salvation and the joy of salvation now in Jesus' name. And I pray that the peace that comes with salvation will settle in every heart. And the assurance of salvation will be given to everyone now without exception. You said, whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise, for no reason, Cast away, you receive everyone that comes. Everyone that calls on the name of the Lord Jesus is saved. Thank you, Lord, for their salvation. Thank you, Lord, for their redemption. Confirm it in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. Say, it is done. Keep on standing, keep on standing. Our counselors are there and uh, they will spend a little time with you getting all the information that they need so that we can follow up on you for your progress in the faith later. Our state of ourselves will take over now and then after we finish this, then I'm coming back and every disease, every sickness in your body, the Lord will take away tonight. Keep on standing, keep on standing. Our ushers, our counselors are there by your side. They will give you a card. And inside that card, you will just put down your name. Very important, your full names. And you write your address. The address should be what people know about around you, your address, where you live. If there is no specific address, you can include the address of somebody around there that is well known where you live. Just include maybe a compound, maybe an area where you live in that place. Describe the place. Don't forget, you have been born again, you have given your life to Christ, and so everything you are going to write there on the card will be right, will be true, and so you write your phone number, you will write your email address if you have one, and our counselors are there, please our counselors, reach out, those who can write, give to them to write. Those who cannot write, you can help them to write. Let's give everybody the opportunity to register his or her name. The Lord wants to really begin a journey with you. It's going to be a wonderful journey, a journey to a land of glory. And so that's a great decision you have made tonight. Uh, counselors, please be fast, be fast. We have limited time. And let's endeavor to make sure that all the information on the card 
is given so that we can follow the people up, we can be able to assist them in their newfound faith in Christ. Can you please uh, reach out? If you have not been attended to, please want you to raise up your hand so that the people can see where you are. Okay, those who are on radio and television, we want to tell you that there is this um, link just there on your television. Just say, click on that link. It will take you to a page where you can fill in all your data and you will be able to submit it, will be able to attend to you online. And so let's do that, those who are listening by radio, and those who are online, either by Facebook or by other online platforms, you will see that link, that link there, just click on it, and you will see a form that will show up, and you will put in your names right there, and all the data, all the information that is needed. Please, we want those who have uh, finished in all our segments and clusters, please, you can see the basket in front of you. Please don't forget to put them inside that basket. Please, let's be fast. Let's be fast. You have little time now. Let's be fast. Those who have finished can help us go closer to other areas where we have the need. Please, if you are finished in that cluster, can you please wave your hand at the left-hand side there? If you are finished there, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Please, the supervisors should help us. If you are finished at that Cluster there, can you raise up your hand? You're far left here. Can you please wave your hand to me? Let's be fast, please. Nobody should be missed. Let's give everybody that decided for Christ the opportunity to fill in his or her names. And let's be very fast. Our time is fleeting away. Let's be fast. Let's be fast. Let's be fast. Don't forget that tomorrow we have lunch hour with Jesus for all those who are deciding for Christ tonight by 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow right on this ground in one of the halls of the university here. Just come, you will see a hall just by the left here. You will come there, you will be shown where the lunch hour which Jesus will hold by 3 p.m. tomorrow. There is a package that is being handed over to you even tonight. You will find the details in the letter from our pastor to you. A letter is there. You will find that letter. Please read it. Our pastor will be explaining a lot of things there for you. So don't forget, tomorrow is 3 p.m. right here on this crusade ground. And so you come 
and the Lord has something for you there. By 3 p.m., lunch hour with Jesus. And so our counselors, please, please, if you are the far left and you are finished, please, in that uh, cluster, can you wave your hand, please, the supervisors? Wave your hand to me if you are finished at the far left. Okay. Very close here at the left hand side. Can you raise up your hand in that cluster? If you have finished, please, supervisors, you can do that. Help me raise up your hand if you have. Please collect the cards from all those who have filled and make sure that they are submitted to your supervisor and it should be put on the basket in front of you. Please. Don't forget tomorrow too, the ministers have a time with our pastor by quarter to seven tomorrow morning. Ministers, Christian workers, professionals of whatever profession a pastor wants to pour in success principles to your life. And so don't miss it tomorrow morning for Christian workers and for ministers, professionals, of whatever career you may be you may be in tomorrow morning right here tomorrow morning quarter to seven in the morning so don't forget that it is going to be wonderful you will not miss it so please our supervisors please can you wave your hand if you have finished thank you very much the next, the next uh, cluster, please, if you have finished, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? At the left there, God bless you. At the center here, if you have finished, uh, can you raise up your hand? The supervisors, please help me. If you have finished on that, uh, that central part, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Okay. At the right hand side here if you have finished on your uh cluster can you raise up your hand and wave it at me please the supervisors can you help me check up check up and uh, help me if you have finished can you wave your hand at me please let's be fast don't forget we are not to go yet because the man of God is going to pray for us and is going to be very, very direct, simple, effective, powerful, and realistic. You will see it right there and then. It's nothing like go and come, right there and then. And don't forget, you'll carry your miracles back home tonight. And so, be expectant. Uh, please, uh, counselors, uh, please, let's be fast. If you are at the right-hand side of the stage and you are finished, can you please wave your hand? Counse uh, uh, supervisors, can you do that? Raise your hand and wave it at me if you have. Please do that so I can know that you are finished. At the far right, if you have finished, please, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. At the middle, at the middle of uh, the central part of the uh, this, uh, congregation, can you please raise your hand and wave it at me? Okay, God bless you. Tonight, the Lord is about to do something. And the pastor is coming back now, and he is coming for something real. Raise up your hand and stand up, because something is coming your way. Praise the Lord. 
healing coming your way. Deliverance coming your way. Miracle coming your way. Whatsoever you need, you ask in faith, you receive testimony in your mouth. Are you ready? You lay one hand where you have the problem, if possible. Raise up the other hand. As we pray, the Lord will give you complete redemption. Complete healing. Complete deliverance. And when you hear the final amen, check up. The miracle is already there. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name tonight. You are loving God. The God that cannot change. The God unchangeable, immutable. You said, look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be healed, and be saved, and be delivered. Tonight is the night for everyone. Therefore, Lord, I pray, every sickness, whatever name, come out of their bodies in Jesus' name. Here, over the radio, over the television, online, in every country, in every continent, in every congregation. Touch, heal, deliver everyone in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened. Deaf ears be opened. Dumb tongues be loosed. Broken bones be mended. Paralysis be healed. Those who are maimed or they have a part of their body missing, receive your wholeness in Jesus' name. Any demonic affliction, demonic torment, I command that evil spirit come out in Jesus' name. Madness, come out. Any psychological problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, be healed right now. Young and old, children and youths, parents, mothers, and fathers, receive your miracle right now. Lord, let there be a confirmation. Everywhere, a confirmation. For healing, a confirmation. For deliverance, a confirmation. In every life, here present, and everywhere that we're connected together, in Jesus' name. It is done. It is finished. Confirmation in your life. It is performed. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. You are healed. You are delivered. Whatever you could not do before, do it now. Everything is all right. You are blind. Open your eyes. You are lame. You cannot rise up and walk. Any challenge, your prayer has been answered. You will have a testimony. You have a testimony. Come, let us. 